Well, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, and I will be glad in it. Well, today I want to share a Bible story with you using my visual aids of my flannel. And they're really nice flannel pictures of things. The story is going to be one, two, <laughs> three. Have you guessed what it is yet? Little pigs and the mean old, big old bad wolf. Now, the Bible verse that we're going to talk about in your memory verse is going to be Psalm. 23 and verse 1. And the reason why I want to talk about Psalm 23 and verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It's as simple as that. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. During this COVID, teach your children that if you're trusting God and believing him to come through and to do great things for your life, that you have to believe that God can. And he will. Because the Lord is what? Your shepherd. You shall not want. So I'm all dressed up today because I made roses. Coming out of COVID, feeling creative, and feeling blessed. And I'm honoring God because I want him to know that I love him and I want the world to know that God has provided for me and made such great ways out of no way for my sake. And the Lord is my shepherd. So I am on the witness stand and I am here to testify that he will do the same for you if you anticipate it and expect it. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made because you are great and greatly to be praised. Help us, O oh God, to enjoy the daily bread that you have already provided for us on this day. And every day that we need you to show up and be our shepherd and provide for our needs, God, we know we have anticipation that you will do just that for us. In the name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, that your word will fall on good ground on the ears of those that hear. Let them listen and let them be blessed and moved by your spirit and bring clarity and life to your word through this story with Annie the Kinder Clown. And I thank you and I praise you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do because you're not a mystery. You are our God, the shepherd, the good shepherd. In Jesus' name, I praise you. Amen. Well, guys, the only way that you can really talk about something is that you know for yourself that it is a fact. So I want to talk about the three little pigs today. That first little pig, he decided, mm, I'm just going to go ahead and build my house out of hay. He decided to build his house out of hay. And he said, I wish that wolf would come walking around my way. Uh-oh, I wish that wolf would come walking around my way, he said. He's not going to have a very good day. It's not going to stay up. But anyway, you get the idea. And so that wolf came knocking, knock, 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 knock. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig decided that he was going to be apprehensive about letting him come in. He said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. 
And so that wolf said, then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew that house down. That little pig went running down the street, running down the street. He ran as fast as he could to the fastest house of God that he could find because there is shelter in the house of the Lord, our refuge. And he was safe. <laughs> Give him a hand. The second little pig, he was a lazy little pig. He said, Child, please, I'm not praying anymore. He said, God ain't listening. He's not hearing me pray any old way. So I'm just going to hurry up and eat me some chocolate chip cookies and drink me some ice cold lemonade. He said, I'm going to hurry up and build my house out of sticks. And so he did. That little pig built his house out of sticks. And just as he decided he was going to sit down and eat his chocolate chip cookies and drink his lemonade, he had a knock that came at the door. And he said, who is it? And that answer came from, you know who? The mean old, big old bad wolf. He said, it is me, the mean old, big old bad wolf. I'm your friend. Let me come in, little pig. Let me come in. And the little pig was afraid because he didn't remember to pray. Whenever you pray, you have confidence. And you trust and believe that God is with you and will protect you. And so this is what he said. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And so that wolf was very hungry, you know, and he said, It's a pandemic out here and a recession, and the stores are all closed. And we can't really find a lot of things on the shelves. So, guess what? If I get a hold of one of those little pigs, I'll have me some ham, some ham hocks, some pig feet, some lunch meat, some bacon sausage, and I can cook that with me some eggs. Yes, I will. <laughs> so, he asked him again. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Little pig said, not by the hand of my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, okay, I'm going to blow down your house of sticks. He said, I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. That wolf blew that little pig's house down. That little pig went running, 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 fast as he could. And he got away and he was safe. He went to the house of God, and he was saved. He ran to the potter's house. Yes! <laughs> and the angels of the Lord protected him and kept him safe. Well, that third little pig was a wise little pig. This little pig was dedicated, and he prayed each and every day read his Bible verses. He meditated on God's word every day. He had Bible verses that he memorized and everything. And now that he's out on his own, he really, really thanks God that he knows how to take care of himself and that God won't forsake him or leave him. And his name was Levi. He said, I wish that pig would come knocking on, that wolf would come knocking on my door. I'm not scared of him. Meanwhile, Levi, he went building his house made out of bricks. 
He went to the Home Depot. He said, I want to get something that's nice and fortified and strong. He said, I prayed and asked God, how shall I build my house? And God said, build it on a strong and firm foundation. And I will bless it and keep you safe. And so, meanwhile, hold on, guys. As he went to go and get himself some chocolate chip cookies, you know, and he had been working so hard in his yard. He was a little tired and wanted to have a little something to eat. And so, he said, hmm... Let me take me a little nap. Next thing you know, he heard a knock. He said, who is it? A voice behind the door said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That wolf said, It's your friend. Let me in. And so the little pig said, I won't let you in by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So that wolf went around to the side of the house. And he huffed. And he puffed. And he, that house didn't come down. So that wolf went around to the other side of the house. And he huffed. And he puffed. And he, and that house is still standing. So he went around to the back of the house. And he huffed. And puffed. And and he couldn't blow that house down. And then finally he decided, let me knock on the door again. And he used his words, little pig, little pig, I'm very hungry. I don't want to eat you. But may I please, may I please come in and have a bite to eat? And that little pig was a pig of faith. And he said, if you say the special word, he said, please, may I come in? So that little pig, he opened up his door to his beautiful brick house. And he let the wolf in. And that wolf sure enough became his friend. And he prayed with the wolf as they sat down and they had a bite to eat some chocolate chip cookies and some ice cold milk. And that house continued to stand. The wise man built his house upon the rock. Oh yes, the wise pig built his house upon the rock. Oh yes, the wise pig built his house upon the rock. And the rain came a-tumbling down. Oh yes, the rain came down and the flood came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And that house continued to stand. But the foolish pigs built their house upon the sand. The foolish pigs built their house upon the sand. Oh, yes, the foolish pigs built their house upon the sand. And the house had a great big crash. And that's the end. And the pigs became friends. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All of my friends are here with me. You're my friend, you're my friend, you're my friend, and you're my friend. Singing friends, friends, one, two, three. All of an 
these friends are here with me. The end! Yay! So what did we learn? We should always pray without ceasing. The Bible even tells us to pray without ceasing. If we ask God anything in his name, according to his will, and we know that he hears us, then the Bible says we know that we have those things we desire from the Lord. So I just wanted to share with you guys today to remember to pray each and every day because God will give you direction. He will give you wisdom. He will give you help and he will give you understanding of what his will is. Because if you do God's will, then you will be fulfilled. And today I made roses. Oh yes. I made beautiful roses because I am giving honor and glory to God for hearing my prayers when I had COVID and I was very sick. And I couldn't taste. I couldn't smell. I couldn't enjoy my food as much because I had not all of my senses. But I do praise him and I thank him because God is good. Sing this with me as we go out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Clap for the many, many things you do for me. For my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, and even for the things I cannot see. For the shoes on my feet, for the clothes that I wear for the food that I eat. We praise your holy name. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. His mercy endureth forever. And if God has been your help, your strength, your song in the night, your provider, then you should have some kind of offering to give to him. Offer the fruit of the lips, which is praise. And guys, I hope that you have a great and a marvelous day because I know I am. But remember the three little pigs as I summarize. The first little pig, he didn't want to pray. And so he had no faith, he had no courage, he had no power, he had no courage. And the same thing happened with the second little pig because he decided not to pray either. But that third little pig was the strong little pig. Yeah. <laughs> and he remembered to pray because his parents taught him that Levi, you should pray each and every day because God will what? He will what? hear you when you pray. And that's a wrap for me, Miss A-N-N-I-E. Build your house on the rock. And that's Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.